Now, I see that uh, we've got a couple of questions coming in that we should probably pick up. One uh, that, you know, just cutting to the chase in terms of politics is how we get across the importance of both votes SNP. Mm. I've got my thoughts, but I'd like your thoughts as well about, about how we do that. Yeah, I mean, the, the bottom line is that if we get everybody that votes SNP on the first vote to vote SNP on the second vote, we're going to get extra seats on top of that on the list. Um, that, that's the challenge we've got, um, persuading people that that is, uh, that is what they should do. Um, mm. but, but that's the reality of it. If, if we got those numbers, uh, the, the, if everybody that voted in the constituency SNP also voted on the list, we'd get those extra top-up seats, which would make a, a real difference, perhaps, in getting us that majority and getting us a bigger majority, which is going to make all the difference um, mm. in the, the battle ahead to get the independence refer referendum and yeah. to win it. And I think the point I make is that using that strategy was what got us the first independence referendum because we had a majority, which, as you know, the Dehaunt system, it makes it quite hard. So, But using that strategy meant that we got the first independence referendum. And given, you know, I've made it quite clear, my focus is absolutely about um, encouraging people to think positively about independence. That is absolutely my driver. Uh, so, of course, that's what everybody wants. So we're agreed on that, both votes SNP.